How are you quarantine people doing? They just extended that quarantine. Yeah, we just got word that they extended till the April 30th. Quarantine till April 30th this year. So, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have about another 33, 34 more days of uh, idle time, huh? Or productive time, whichever way you look at it, right? What's up, Matthew? Please share and invite. We're going to, we're going to talk about what uh, a lot of people don't want to talk about. It's kind of what we do. I like to talk about the untalkable or the unpopular or the... Um, the not so uh, talked about topics, right? Marriage and uh, how to how to stay married, right? How how the hell are you guys handling all this? Uh, being with your wife all day, every day, and your kids all day, every day. You shared it to my personal page. Uh, sure do. What's up, Mike? What's up, James? How you guys doing? Big Mama has to keep her glasses on. I've been beating her for the past. <laughs> I've been beating her for about the past know, week maybe, now. Maybe you need my glasses. Yeah, I don't know how about you guys. Are. But, uh, man, hanging if out there with... there ever was a test on relationships and parenting, this would be it. <laughs> Spending all day with the wife and kids all day, every day, while I run out of toilet paper? <laughs> I don't and know. I'm, I'm making them gain about 15 pounds. <laughs> we cooking a lot. What's up, Judge? What's up, Brandon? I, I don't know about you guys. I've gained about 10 pounds. I think all I think I lost about uh, 10, 20 percent muscle mass because I hadn't been able to work out as much. I can only do so many burpees. I can only do so as much walking. I don't know what what you guys are up to or how are you guys are handling all this idleness. But I, you know, at the end of the day, I've been getting good amount of stuff done and been catching up um hey appreciate that judge you're the man dude what's up colton you know i've been getting a lot of stuff done i was on a podcast today for like two and a half hours i uh, you know d trying to stay busy i don't know about what you guys are doing to stay busy but um james says honestly hasn't affected us that's fantastic to hear james you know we we can't we're over here in destin florida on the beach and we can't even go to the beach so it's kind of like uh that's right, absolutely, Judge. All about playing offense. You know, my, thankfully, my business is, or my real estate business is still running. Now, I do have some businesses that are completely shut down that we can't even operate. So I guess it depends. What's up, Daniel? What's up, John? I'm still working. Absolutely, John. Yeah. No, that, and that's the that's the kind of the point of this live, right? You know, to kind of talk about staying busy and staying uh, productive. Because at the end of the day, like, if dude, if you just sit in your house all day, you will. You will. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Brandon says, I was telling my mom today I'll end up being a high risk person for the virus same. if I keep eating. I like was thinking <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, it's like. Because I'm the type of person, like, I'll get so busy, I'll forget, I'll forget about eating. Like, I'll just work, work, work. Yep. You yep. Know? But, um, no, we, uh, I mean, we've been staying busy. I mean, we have yeah. a routine. Somewhat. So, somewhat, but it's, you know, it, it's kind of, uh, you know, a routine is like just good to have a routine, right? All these people that just want to do nothing all day, like Jesus. I just, I don't. We've understand. never been the type that just laid on the sofa and watched TV. Like, I mean, we never watch TV. Um, so we've always, and we homeschool. So this is kind of like not so hard for us because we're kind of used to that, having the kids around more and yep, um, working yep. together. So. I think that guy on a bike. They got a guy, a, a guy on. passed on a motorcycle on a Harley with a mask on. <laughs> oh, all you can do is laugh about this, right? I know it's it's it's, uh, it's fun. Well, What's up, Matt? What's up, Jason? It helps your well-being if yeah. you can laugh about something, right? But I hope everybody's doing good in their quarantine. Um, you know, you gotta stay productive. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm staying. I've been busy all day. Like I've been on the phone or on video chats, putting out content. Um, you know it, i mean obviously it's sunday right it's not like it's a but it's not like it's a day of work but i mean i'm always doing something but i hope you guys are staying busy just kind of wanted to reach out and say 
you know, what the hell have y'all been doing? Like, what, what, what's, what's your day like every day? What's your routine? What, what are you do, guys doing every day to stay busy? You know, what's, what's your habits right now, right? You know, I beat her at least once a day. I beat my kids twice a day. <laughs> and I kick, I've been kicking my dog two to three times a day. And the dog we don't have. Yeah, but uh, no, I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, he's fine. But, but um, at the end of the day, like, it's like, geez, man, what's going on, right? Um, I saw people in the Corvette with the top down in a full hazmat suit. No <laughs> <laughs> oh, judge, I got to jump. You guys are great. Keep it up. Let's do a live soon about helping people play off it. Absolutely, judge. We could do that for sure. We need to do that on Instagram though, because we can't go live together on um, on Facebook no more. They took that away. We we own, dude. Okay, James says we own a gym and they shut us down for 15 days. Dude, that's like the that has been the biggest upset thus far is my gym routine. Dude, I've been, we love the gym. I've been, we love going together. We've been going to the gym. I, I've been going to the gym since I was sixteen, and I'm thirty nine. Like uh, consistently since I was sixteen, and to stop that for the past, you know, what is it, week and a half, two weeks, that it's been shut down. Dude, that's probably been the biggest aggravation out of everything is readjusting. I'm like, we're probably gonna go to Walmart next week and get, get some weights. I think I may invest in a whole gym set to keep at the house because I mean this is uh, this has been rough not being able to go to the gym and not even for us for Aiden too our Months, fourteen yeah. year olds obsessed with working out too so like he's on the struggle bus too. Colton says my wife and my what my wife and run an insurance business which is ninety nine percent remote anyway so very blessed this hasn't affected our business renewal still comes in that's yeah dude you you're in a recession proof business I mean insurance is a great business. To be in so great time to study and study you and real estate absolutely dude listen i'm always scaling up like the funny thing is right the economy is going to probably shift right the economy is going to probably take some type of a nosedive if this thing don't pull out pretty quick and i think we're going to have a, a shift in skill sets needed to readjust to this new economy right this new economy is going to be something of a like it's going to force people to really think outside the box and and see how they can run a business from their house right i think the brick and mortar and the the, the overall having to have an office model shit it, it's gonna i don't want to say completely dead but i mean like if it's if you don't make you rethink it it's gonna sure. make it's gonna make you have to rethink it because i mean people right now that are totally dependent on the office totally dependent on employees working at an office now granted there's only so many things like if you're a dentist office you're a doctor like I mean, there's only so many things you could do. If you're a dentist working on people's teeth, like you, you have to have an office. But, you know, for me with real estate, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm blessed enough that we still do all this remotely. We can still, you know, people can send us pictures of their houses, send us videos, we can make offers over the phone. So we're blessed in that sense. But like, you guys gotta really think about the business you're in and, and the, the job you have. Like, this may be, a, a, I don't know, maybe this is a prime, like they're priming us. They, this may be something that occurs pretty often. Like we may we may start seeing this every uh, three, four, let's, five years. Let's, you know. not, let's not say that. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. But what if it does? What if the norm, every, just like we, you know, we have hurricanes in Florida every three to five years. What if the norm now is that we have a, a virus, a new strain of virus that shuts down the economy, the world economy or the 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 country's economy for two to four weeks or a month or two months we have so to think about to that have a plan you gotta have a plan like i think everybody we have a hurricane plan we might as well have a, a you, virus who, plan who is who in there and ever would have thought that this would have happened right yeah. there's there's gonna be a huge mindset shift i think across the country across the world on what like how people operate their business right i mean you know they still got people jogging outside riding bikes and stuff i mean that's awesome so but you know it's it, it's funny because like dude if you don't figure out how to make money online you're going to be in a bind you if you don't figure out how to make money from online you're going to be in a bind right that is the new that is going to be the new skill set how can i create a product online? or at least a side hustle a side hustle that yeah but i mean but I mean, online. Like, yeah. I, I, the yeah. online, the online business is exploding. You know, uh, you know, colleges and all that. Like, there's like 1.3 trillion dollars of student debt right now that really can't be paid off, and people are going online to get information from people that have experience who are experts in fields. Right, dude, they got people selling courses on how to bang your first chick. 
Like if you can't, if you having trouble banging, like if you, if I, I, but I'm just being serious. Like there's courses for Such everything. A man. I, I mean, dude, I'm I'm a dude. Like what, what you want me to? <laughs> that's what dudes think about when you're 17 and 18 or 39. But anyway, but they're making courses. If you're an expert at anything, like they're making. They're making people experts at landscaping. People are experts at cutting grass. People, like they're making online courses. Like maybe maybe you're watching this, and maybe you're a beautician or, or uh, you know a nail salon, or like like you can't go do people's nails because you you know the, this quarantine. Like you can show people your expertise by creating a course online, right? So there's all kind of like I think that I really do think that's going to be the way of the future. And give me your thoughts as I'm saying this. Like I'm just trying to throw stuff out there. Like I really do think that the wave of the future is going to be online content, right? So it's been a huge blessing for us, been in business six months and we didn't get a building, all other insurance agents right off the bat. Then the crisis happened and thankfully we didn't have 1500 to 2K in office rent for no reason when we were working from home anyways. Now once everything gets back, the need to have a huge fancy office for how many personal personal appointments anyways it's all online then you're you're blowing money exactly honestly i mean we have an office and we really don't need it we have an we have an office a real estate office well we don't even need it to collect rent they they send it to the the mail the p.o box but you have to rethink your whole model right now like it's it's like it's the weirdest thing but it's like we were told we have a we have to have an office like our whole lives like you when you have a business you have an office why well when there's well a, for us i felt like it would change the mindset that if we went there we could, you know just yep. you, your focus is different but james says as long as the fake news exists they can make the madness continue you know yeah that 100 percent right dude and it's like shit it's like you know there's more people that that drink the kool-aid than than do drink the kool-aid or don't drink the, you know there's more people that do drink the kool-aid than don't so it's like I, you know it, it is what it is I think there's a lot of, um, you know, I think, do, do I think it's being unproportionately blown up? Absolutely. And I'm getting a lot of flack about it online. People, you know, telling me how much of a piece of crap I am. But, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I mean, I, I'm just seeing what I see. Like, I, it's, it's, you know, like, what's worse, the virus or the fear they're spreading, right? You know, I, I don't know. It's craziness. But uh, I'm going to start a course on how to deal panic. <laughs> deal with panic. Yeah, that's. That's a good idea to start a course, right? But I mean, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting thing, right? But what if this goes on for two or three more months? I know I know Trump just announced, or somebody just announced. April thirtieth, Trump announced that it, it's extended till April thirtieth. So we're stuck in our houses, and you know this quarantine for another thirty, what is it, thirty-two to thirty-three days, or thirty-four days, dude. Like now, what would we say to people who are struggling in their relationship, and they have? a whole nother, you know, month. Who are struggling in their relationship? Mm -hmm. Beat her harder. <laughs> she ain't listening. You're not beating her harder. I'm enough. never going to listen. You know better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hard-headed. <laughs> yeah, you got to beat it into her sometimes, right? But I think it's a good time to work on, on maybe the issues you have or, you know, work on um, your goals. We love doing vision boards. We love talking about our goals. Um, usually in the normal life, we're too busy and it's hard to like find the time to sit down. Okay, let's write it down. Um, but we have a lot of time right now. So that would be a great thing to do is yeah. work on your vision yep. board. And yeah, we're work on that and how to economize right now. Like, you know, we, we economize, like, dude, we just economize a bunch of stuff, you know, like, you know, in, in a contraction, you definitely, the first thing you should be doing is economize. Like whatever you don't need get rid of it like if it's not a necessity you should get rid of it period secondly you need to change your operating base like you're gonna ch have to change how you do business right now right like brad said thank god i got rid of my shop absolutely brad if you wouldn't have got rid of that shop you'd have an extra weight i don't know what your rent was 1500 1200 oh, i didn't know he got rid of his shop he did yeah it. yeah he does it out of his house oh, which is smart this is smart i think that's very smart that you do it out of your house now but you know the, it, it's you're gonna have to be resourceful right now. Mm -hmm. That's the word I've been looking for, resourceful. Like if you're not resourceful, and what do I mean by resourceful? Like you're pulling every rabbit out of the hat. 
where can I where, where can I utilize value value and circumstances to my advantage, right? And um, but dude, you, you're gonna have to economize. You have to change your whole operating basis, and you're gonna have to freaking promote like crazy right now to get your product out. And then you have to work like crazy right now because I've been. This is my third crash, guys. The third crash I went through, and that's how I got out of it. I econom I economized. You know, basically, I fired a bunch of people and, and cut back on stuff. If you're, you know, if you were dead, you know, you might be somebody that's not so valuable in a company. You're gonna be the first one to go, right? And then we changed our whole operating basis, and then we basically started promoting as much as we could, and then we just worked longer and harder until everything stabilized. That's literally what you're gonna have to. Do. That that pulled me out of two recessions, right? Two, and uh, this is the third one now. Luckily, I'm in a better spot right now from the third one. Um, but Brad said 1,475 bucks a month. That's awesome, Brad. That's awesome. I hope your business is doing good, by the way. With the, with the what, what you want, Mom? What you want to talk? Oh no. I, um, I mean, we have we have a bunch of ideas of what you could be doing. But uh, I mean, dude, this is the perfect time to clean the closet, right? What's up, Brian? What's up? That's Brian? the only bummer about being here is uh, we can't do as many projects as if yeah. we'd be home. But. I, I That's would, what I would be doing, cleaning out closets. What drawers. you doing, little bad baby? Yeah, little bad baby right there. Say hi. Hi. He's a bad little baby. No. You bad? He's a mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, um, but no, like clean your freaking closet. You know, I, I was able to put out, um, like I, I literally put out two and a half hours today of content that I've been want that I've been putting off for like you literally two years that I've been wanting to upload into my course that I that I put out today that I'm be uploading like like there's all kind of stuff that everybody has in a back burner they just don't have time to do because every day with life gets in the way like do take care of that like this is the perfect time because you we may not have another whole month and a half to better work on stuff there's no excuse right yeah now, there's no basically. excuse like I literally I worked we worked well I worked half a day today or more actually two thirds a day I didn't stop till what 1 30 mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm I'm getting stuff done that I would never have time for that I know I, I wanted to do, but it wasn't like there's things that are important, and there's things that are urgent, right? It was important, but it wasn't urgent. So I kept pushing off, pushing off, but I finally got that piece of content that I wanted to record done, right? So, um, Jason, you still trying to throw Skillathon in Charleston? Man, I'm I'm hoping so. I am. That's where I want to do it. Yeah. I, I sure hope so. I mean, you know. I mean, we just gonna. I'm gonna play, play it by ear. I mean, I, I just. I mean, it's hard to say yes or no because I mean, what everything that's going on, right? How are you dealing with renters paying? Everybody's paid so far. Honestly, I had one. I've had. Um, I've had two people. I talked to my property manager. Two people said they lost their job out of all of my tenants. So I'm. I'm. Now, the new months coming around. We got two days. Yeah, two we'll have, two days. So I'll know here in the next we week. We did lose a lot of vacation rentals. Um, yes, we did lose a lot of vacation I'm rentals. I'm waiting to hear from management about that tomorrow, just how they're going to handle all that. Yeah, so it's like, uh, yeah, I mean, dude, we're all going to take a loss, right? I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is. Colton says, my boss didn't get on me, get on to my agency whatsoever because we weren't, we were productive, 20K, 30 premium per month, but I didn't. But I didn't have an office space. I was productive, so I got away with it. Other agents were getting fancy one, two K office rent spaces and barely making it and getting into debt the first year. Always build your business then first, then then your home. Proverbs twenty four twenty seven. So glad we didn't jump into it that and prove that we can make it and aren't drowning during it. Hey, listen, that's so true. Like, try you want to do everything is. You cannot, when you, especially when you first start in a business, if you can do everything without having an office, that's like I started when I started my oil change and car wash and mechanic business. Like I did it all remotely. Mm -hmm. I did it all on site. Even real estate, we did for a long time remotely. I, absolutely, like, we never had an have, office. Yeah, we just started having an office a few years ago. Yeah, like it wasn't. Yeah, like two and a half, maybe two mm -hmm. and a half years ago, I started having an office because like it's really wasn't necessary. But I was like, well, let's just get an office. Mm -hmm. But I'm really starting to reconsider if we even need an office. Well, we do get a lot of. Um, we have signage there, so well, we get a lot of yeah. Well, and then they got the tenants need to fill out applications yeah, and stuff, so but they can they can still do that remotely online, too. Yeah. Like literally, it's getting to the point where everything is getting mm -hmm. online and remote, right? But um, 
Yeah, James, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm going to see, man. I'm, I'm hoping that, look, I'm in affordable housing. I'm in C class. I'm in B minus. I'm not in the high end. I'm not in the super low end. So I don't know, man. I, I mean, I do have a, a one trailer park that's kind of probably a D plus, but we'll see. Build the business, then your home. It's the business that provides that income. Yeah, I mean, look, why can't your home be your business, right? Why, why, and then you can write off the, you can write, I know when you use your home as an office too, you can write off a couple of rooms. The square footage of the of rooms a, of you a, use. Yes, you can write it off as your office and, and it's a tax write off. So I know that for sure. But, um, but yeah, we're kind of getting off topic. You know, we were kind of talking about, you know, you know, your wife. I mean, it's like, dude, if you, if you don't, if you don't get along with your wife right now and then you, and then this has happened, dude, you're in a bind. Mm -hmm. You're in a bind right now if you, if you didn't get it wrong with your wife and now you stuck with your wife all day. And here's the time to work on it together, right? Yeah, yeah. There's no excuse. You have the time to communicate and game plan what you're going to do to make things work. Yep. Because ultimately... Mommy, this is my swimming girl. Yes, it is, but we can't swim this moment. Give me a minute. You're going swimming? Right. Wait, 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 babies. Wait, go wait for mommy and daddy. Yeah, we move over there if you want. Yeah, we're going to have to move this party to the pool, so the kiddos want to go to swimming. Oh. Dude, what you doing? Come on, little monkey boy. Oh, man. Anyway. Thank God for a pool, huh? Dude, I can honestly say, you know, everybody says, this is one thing, it's funny, because everybody said, I say everybody, a lot of people say, don't buy a pool. It's the worst investment ever. Dude, if you got kids, buy a pool. That has been the best investment I've ever, that I've ever made in a house, is having a pool for the kids. We've have, we've been having a pool for, well, I mean, we've only been had this house for two years, but my, my house back home, we've been having for, I think, eight years, we've had a pool for eight years best investment we ever had especially if you have kids if you don't have kids maybe not but it has been a, a phenomenal investment right huh babies y'all like the pool oh she found a bug okay anyway guys um what are you guys doing to stay busy give me give me i want i want to hear what you guys are doing to stay busy i know what i'm doing but what are you guys doing? What are you doing to get creative right now and resourceful to start another business? To um, which, dude, like honestly, this is I've I've had an online business now for four years. So I mean, this is you know the online business is you know which is my coaching business. Every one of you guys should figure out what your you know what a unique ability you have. Everybody's a skill set, right? Everybody on here has some type of skill set. You should be monetizing that skill set. And if this if this isn't a wake up call for you that you need to find a business that can run without having to have an office and be purely online, because think about it, guys. What is everybody doing right now? Everybody's online, right? Everybody's online right now because they're not at work, or at least a lot of Americans are not at work. So this should be a wake up call to you, right? Whatever you're good at, freaking dude, it ain't it ain't rocket science create content around what you're good at to help other people, to show other people what you're good at, right? Frederick, what's going on, dude? Um, Subprime hero, that's pretty cool. If you have a beach, better, no repair costs, laugh out loud, yeah? Yeah, but we can't even go to the beach. Can't even go to the beach. Um, what would you say if people were struggling right now, though, fighting, arguing? Uh, I can guarantee you that I can, I can guarantee you half of America is fighting about money right now. I can guarantee That's probably you. That's the biggest. I can I can argument almost, on the regular. I can almost guarantee, if I was a fly on a wall of half of the American couples right now are fighting, like, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna pay our bills? And what's the next step? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, like you, you can't you can't blame it on each other because you know this you is out of your control. You just have to get creative. You're gonna have to get creative. And you have to you're gonna have to do what most will. Yeah, you're gonna have to find your skills and do it. Especially if you lost your job and you maybe you you know you, you may not have a job for the next two or three months. You better start thinking outside the box mm -hmm. and think about 
What, what am I good at? What can I learn? And if you're not good, and like maybe. What is needed? Yeah. We'll see. What exactly could you do right now that would actually help you make a few bucks, right? Go next door and I knock on your neighbor's house and say, hey, dude, I lost my job. Yeah, I'll cut yeah. your grass, right? I'll cut your grass. I'll weed eat. I'll paint your house. Like, I'll pressure wash your house. Like, there's so many different things that you could possibly do to figure out how to make money. That if you, but you're gonna have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone. Are you gonna have to go backwards a little bit? Like, if I had to wait tables. Dang. Restaurants are closed. Colin says, since funds are tight, we are making more Facebook live posts to help people save money on insurance. Also, in case of sickness or disease, it's a pressing point for life insurance, maybe for some folks. So we're hitting that hard on Facebook Live. I think you since called your life insurance guy. I did call my life insurance guy. <laughs> He's like, let me double check what I got. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I called my life insurance yeah. guy, and we we have a we have a a call in two more weeks about adding some more coverage, right? And putting more money into some whole life, and taking more away from the term. But uh, yeah, anyway. But you know, it, this is a weird time. You know, this is freaking strange. Like, I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't even know. Like, how do you? How do you? How do you even? How do you like prepare for? I know I prepare. Like I've always been a prepper, you know. And she thought I was crazy. And now I'm a genius. And um, you know, I've always stored up water filtration systems, stored up food. He even bought that dry food, like dry foods. I was like, bowl, I don't know. I would have to be starving. Sil eating. Silver, guns. Lead, <laughs> lots and lots of lead, because not because I'm gonna shoot a bunch of people, but because you can. That's a it's border, right? Like it, you can barter bullets, right? If somebody's got food and you don't have food, you can give bullets away, or you can get, you know, it's like 22 or you know, 308 or 556. Like that's how I looked at it, right? That lead will become 10x what it's worth when you uh, when shit like this happens, right? I know they have a run on the stores right now, right? You know, they're running the stores for guns in nine millimeters. It's crazy, but, and I don't think it's because people, I think well, it's because people are scared, but. Yeah, they're scared of the unknown. Well, and it's valuable. I, I really do think it's it's valuable. It's a weapon, right? But not that, I don't think it'll get that bad, to be honest with you. I hope it don't get that bad, but anyway. What are you doing to pass the time together, though? Like, we, we take Jeep rides. I mean, we don't get down. We just joy ride and look at real estate that's what we enjoy doing together yeah but what are y'all doing to we've been taking a lot of rides in the jeep and uh, taking the kids ride but i mean it's riding bikes getting outside yeah. getting some vitamin d i agree chris online business and education is the future think about it you told us a couple of years ago how dangerous having only one income was. Not only we've did always most, we, been yeah, diverse. we've always been diverse, always. And it saved our asses so many times. It has saved our, yeah. Like time not, and time again. Did most of it only have one income, but they were the same ones with the 401k, ouch. Yep, no, 100%, dude, listen. When I went through this in 2008, you know, I hammered, but I was able to kind of pull out it because I was doing, I had an oil change business. I, had, I was doing mechanic work. I was doing tires, I was doing window tint, and I was doing auto glass repair and replacement, right? So you gotta think about that. You need, it doesn't have to be like, but it was all in the same wheelhouse, right? Just like I do real estate now, I do wholesaling, I do flipping, we, do, we have a bunch of mobile home parks. I have I have a consulting company, which is my coaching. Uh, you know, we're doing, we're looking at starting to raise some money here soon, you know, start a fund. Like, you better stop and, but it's see it's all in the same wheelhouse right so you better stop depending on just one thing like I'm telling you right now you're gonna burn yourself like you're gonna burn yourself hard if you just depend on one thing now you know we um, you know look we've got these you know these beach rentals we have three beach rentals and they're probably gonna go vacant until May now thank God the timing of it you know May is when it starts getting busy but I think I'm pretty sure all this will be passed by May but you 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 better watch out it's almost it's it's dangerous to have one income it is super dangerous to have one income so we are preparing for our first baby due in two weeks most would panic and freak out during this time wow it's that's uh yeah that's pretty intense but both spouses having faith is what you have to do especially bringing your first child into the world at this yeah. moment wow what's the name of that child gonna be a colton <laughs> Uh, I, I heard that they were not letting husbands going into yeah, they, the I, hospital that's gonna, room. Yeah, that's I, I would not be able to manage yep. that.
yeah, yeah, that's. That's I a hope tragedy. That it, yeah, I hope I hope that works out okay for you, where you can at least watch him. But um, you know, and what are you doing the past time too? Let's just say like you've done everything, you cleaned your house. Like we're looking at, you know, we're, we're doing all kind of stuff to the house as far as like we're looking Tuesday at we have some fence work fence coming in, coming in, we're doing redesign the outside, yeah. um, we're getting new furniture. We have like, things we improve if, if improvements. improvements. Like this is the perfect time to do improvements. Like we're, mm-hmm. we're gonna. We even thought we should probably landscape, we landscape yeah. the whole front. We're gonna, we need to do that. We're gonna, mm-hmm. We got 30 more days, mm-hmm. but we're doing a, a fence right here on the side of our pool to, to block the view from our neighbor. Um, but uh, I just, um, you know, what makes me more most sane too during any time is organization. Just having your space and the yeah. space that you can control controllable. Yeah. So yeah, if everything around you is in order, it brings right. order to your mind. That's right. It brings. Let me say, just said like this a fact. When everything around you is in order, your your mind is in order. Like I can't go in a cluttered room or a cluttered mm-hmm. house or even when I, I don't even understand like how people do that in their house. When I go buy buy some of these people's houses, like the, the condition of some of these people's houses, it's a wonder they have some yeah. mental illness. You can, going wait, well, you can always you can't function. You like can that. always tell the the mental state of people by the way they keep up their things, right? Their, mm-hmm. the, the condition of their vehicles, the condition of their house, right? So it's like, man, if you. I get if you if you like down in the dump write this down if you down in the dumps right now and you don't feel good about everything that's going on go go spring go clean organize. your house and spring clean your house and organize everything in your house I guarantee it's like it's like, it's like therapy like you're a new person. yeah it's like therapy like it, it everything's if in my car is clean my house is clean my purse is clean all life is awesome I just yeah. it, it's just the best Derek William Hall yes they won't let lots of people in the room I'll raise heck if they won't let me in the room. Laugh out. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we're hearing. We orderly house room. brings an orderly mind. So true. Dude, so true. 100%, John. Like, I, we feel so good after we, you know, organize and clean. So, dude, labor is healthy. Like, don't let anybody say, oh, you shouldn't do that or you should. Dude, dude, cutting the grass. I, now, granted, I haven't cut the grass. And, I went weed eat the other day. Patty, we, yeah, Patty, <laughs> I, I, had her, I had her weed eating because she was I love bored. cutting the grass. I enjoy but that. I haven't cut grass in probably what, 15 years? Yeah. If that, probably longer than that because I'm just too busy. But when I used to cut it, it was very therapeutic, right? When you used to have to cut it, I cut it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, guys, I guess uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's like, shit, like, what do you, you know, if you, and I, re- I really feel bad for the guys that are watching this that lost their job and they're like probably on a fixed income. It's like, what do you do, you know? What, what do you do that, um, and you know what? I, I want to do something today. Like, if, if you know a family that's struggling, if you know a family that's struggling, tag them in this post, and I'm gonna pick a family that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna donate something to them, either some money or some food or something, just to help people. Because in the, the day, guys, like this, this I'm gonna wait. I'm in such a good spot compared to what most people are. You know, we're gonna do something special for people that are on here. Like, if you know somebody that has a, a family member or even a friend that's struggling really bad, they don't know how they're gonna pay their bills, they don't know how they're gonna feed their kids, inbox me, and um, we're gonna look at picking a family to maybe help out. Just to, you know, and and look, and if you're in a good spot, guys, you should do the same. Like, like you need to do the same. Like, find find a way to help, dude. Even if you give a hundred bucks or twenty bucks. Buy him a bag of rice. Like, what does rice cost? Eleven dollars for a twenty-pound bag. Eleven dollars for a twenty-pound bag. You could buy a bag of rice, a couple dozen eggs, and some soy sauce, and have freaking Japanese cuisine, right? And they can live off of that for a long time. But you know, it, it's it, it's just sad because I, I I know that there's gotta be. A, and Grant, look, they, they got these stimulus checks they're about to cut, and it, that's gonna help out a lot of families. But. Um, it's still scary for a lot of people, you know. I couldn't imagine being a young couple, just married, just got get on my feet, maybe just built a house or bought a house, have have one baby or two babies, and you're 24 years old, and then you lost, you know, maybe you just lost your job, your wife, both your jobs, you don't have any savings yet because you're just trying to get on your feet. Like this, it's tough, right? What's up, Tangie? Hope you're doing good. So. Um, Anyway, and, and look, and I encourage you to do the same thing. Like you, you, you need you, you need to help people. Like you, you, like everybody should tag somebody that they can help. Right? If you got if you got money, if you got extra money, and you got a job right now, even if it's twenty bucks, even if it's a hundred bucks, help somebody. Like that's and, and I'm gonna 
And like I said, we're gonna help some people. If you know somebody that, that needs to be helped, tag somebody, we'll help them, you know. Um, yeah, so um, just to help pass the time, right? Like, cause dude, if we got another 30 days of doing nothing, shit, I may, uh, I don't know what else. I mean, there's only so much, there's only so much you can do in a day, right? But, but you can stay busy. But right now is the time to, if, listen, if you guys are looking to get into real estate, like right now is the time to get into real estate. Right now is the time to start a business. Right now is the time to start a new venture. Find Mo a new skill. Find a new, like skill up with a new skill. Like most people, most people that you read about, like you read these success stories, they started their business in a downturn. Like they started their business in a downturn and it became a huge success, you know, five, seven years out. So. You know, you got to think about that, right? Hey, appreciate that, Tangi. Appreciate that. Um, but anyway, I hope this message resonates with you. I mean, don't beat your wife like I do. You know, I, you know, I, if you if you down in the dumps and and you both you ain't got no money because you, you like just fighting each other and trying to blame each other is not like a good it's use nobody, of your time. This is nobody's fault. Yeah, it's not a good use of your time. Tangi said that. Hey. You know, it's not a, like figure out a way that you can work together and be like, hey, start a business together. Like, mm -hmm. go. We love working together. Yeah, we yeah we work together all the time. Like, it's 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 fun. Like, it's fun making money together too, right? Use this opportunity to get resourceful. Um, but don't sit there and freaking blame each other because you know maybe you don't have any savings or maybe you feel like oh maybe I shouldn't have bought that toy that we should have been saving. Maybe look and maybe you, you shouldn't have bought that toy like. There's probably gonna be a lot of people that wake up and be like, hey, look, at the end of the day, you know, you probably gotta change your spending habits, right? You know, like for us, like even as young kids, like we always invested our money back into other investors. Now, do we have toys every now and then? Yeah, I have toys. But 95% of the income we make, I say 90% of the income we make goes right back into other investments. Either start a new business, mostly real estate, uh, more marketing to improve our business, but you, you, times like this, it's like you realize, like, you know, having a bunch of like I, I remember in 2014 that when the economy was booming, where I live in Louisiana, everybody was making money. You can get out of college, you can get out of school or even college and make 150, 200 thousand a year, and not even have a high school diploma sometimes, or just have a high school diploma if you want to go work offshore. Then they would they were making 150 grand a year, and young kids going buy big F250s, boats, campers, golf carts, and then the bottom fell out right freaking bottom fell out and tons of people had to turn in all those boats like everything they had right so it's real important like you invest in assets first invest in stuff that can make you more money and i know at a young age you like you get caught up in like one how many material months of things. savings you should have shit now with with everything that's going on what my little baby now that everything's going on i i, I think you should probably have give him a little towel mama give him a towel I think you yeah. should. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should have probably minimum, dude. Min and I know it's hard for younger couples. Maybe you watch this. You're 21, 22. You should probably at least have three months of savings to pay. Like, what if your bills are four or five grand a month? Like, you need to have 15 grand a month. And don't touch that. Like, that's an emergency, right? Right now, cash is not trash. Cash is king, right? Cash is king when it, when there's a, when there's a squeeze and a crunch. You better have cash, right? So. You know, it, it, it's um, this could be a learning lesson for a lot of people, right? You 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 gotta, it maybe it maybe you spent out of your means because you thought it was gonna be happy times all the time. Like, just don't beat yourself up. Like, just learn from it. You never lose, you learn, right? You you never lose, you learn. You just realize that hey, you just need to change your operating basis. You need to make some adjustments. It's gonna probably be some painful events coming down the road if things don't change. Hopefully not. Hopefully they get this thing figured out in a month and we all go back to work and things go back to normal is, uh, you know, normal business. But at the end of the day, like everybody should learn from this. Like shit, like I, you know, like who would have thought a virus would shut down the whole world? What's next? Like we're not thinking about an asteroid hits the fucking planet. Like, <laughs> you know, shit is like, I, I, I mean, you never know now. Like, I, like who could have predicted that this would have happened? But so it's like, don't beat yourself up. Like. I'm, I'm starting to think like, wow, like you got to think really outside the box now because there's all kind of shit that could possibly happen. Have your money working for you. Stay safe and stay sane, you guys. Hope all is well over there. I'm going a little crazy being stuck inside all day. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about, Chris. Appreciate the comment. But 
Like it's Murph, it's Murphy's Law, right? Like whatever can happen will happen, and, and it's like whatever you don't prepare for happens. That's Murphy. I think that's Murphy's Law, right? Maybe you guys can help me, or maybe that's Rude's Law. I don't know. Maybe I'm making shit up. But there's a law called Murphy's Law. Like whatever can happen will happen that you're not prepared for. So it's like who the hell was prepared for a freaking planet-wide catastrophe that would shut down the whole world? I wasn't. Like. I mean, I, shit. I, we just we just basically shut down a business that we that we had, but we just started, right? I wasn't preparing for that. Like, I didn't know. Like, I'm gonna start preparing for everything. Like, freaking aliens coming, fucking <laughs> asteroid hitting the planet, fucking uh, Bigfoot coming out of the woods and scaring everybody. Like, what else? What's next? Like, this is like, I mean, this is complete out of the woods, right? Like, this is the, like, who would have thought this would have happened? This just tells you, like, you got to be prepared for, for anything, anything, right? I mean, people don't prepare with their, you know, your, for your wife catching cancer or you, one of your kids pass like crazy. Like, you got to prepare for all this. This is craziness, but, I mean, it's the truth, right? Thanks, guys. I truly value your content. Hey, I appreciate that, Henry. Um, Tangie says, so many people are sta standing still and afraid to do anything right now due to being scared, but now is the time to invest more than ever. Absolutely, guys. Like, invest, like, right now is the time to invest. Warren Buffett says it best. When there's blood in the streets, you invest, right? When people are fe fearful, be greedy. When people are greedy, be fearful. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're still buying deals. I've got, right now, I've got two mobile home parks in the contract. Um, I'm looking, we, we talked to, uh, you know, I'm not going to say her name, but you know who? Quarter? nickel quarter nickel dime oh okay <laughs> and um and yeah. and, and we're, we're, we're negotiating she has two parts that we're about to buy that we're finally going to negotiate with her but we're looking you know matter of fact like we're, we're probably going to have four parks in a contract here soon like i haven't had four parks in a contract ever why because people want to sell now right when it when things we are also, good we also contacted our realtor too here in Destin because there might be, be a deals. lot of people contact like if you're in real estate contact all your contacts and say hey look I'm still buying if you're not buying find out how you can buy by raising some private capital right get access to some money like we're, we're gonna go all in like I'm, I'm gonna try to buy up as much as I can right now because this is the time to go all in right so and if you don't have no money, if you broke, you sick, you don't have any skills, you don't have anything, you're completely, completely like just like a degenerate, then, and I hate to say that word to be ugly, but you feel like, like maybe you're just like, you feel like you're a loser, like you have no skills, nothing, then your unique ability right now should be hard work. Was, Working on yourself. Well, hard, no hard like what working on yourself don't make any money like people need money right now so if you're like just a complete like you just like man i i, I don't know like I, I i messed up i need to start making money dude you you better you better start working like a maniac like you better put in 40 hours every two days right make your work ethic your unique ability right and and provide so much value that you can get through you know these hard times right What's your buying criteria for mobile home parks? I don't buy less anything less than 24 units, and I have to have boots on the ground in that area that I know, like, and trust that I can partner with to help partner with me and manage. So, I hope that makes sense. But anyway, guys, I know it's – go ahead. Uh, what, what's that, Patty? No, um, well, I guess my only suggestion is there's no excuse now. There's so much information online to learn and teach yourself different skills that there's just really, there's so much opportunity that is out there to learn and, and create skills. Well, and, and listen, I, I, I'm i giving my course away for a hundred bucks, guys. Like I haven't sold my course for a hundred bucks ever. It's been 500 bucks for five years. Just to have my course, you don't get none of my help, but if you want access to my course, if you want to buy my course, it's a hundred bucks. I'll show you how to wholesale, how to negotiate, how to find buyers, sellers, make offers, estimate repair value, and how to market like I do. The whole nine yards right so if you want to get into real estate skill up at chrisroot.com actually inbox and i have to send you the special link the covid19 link for 100 bucks matter of fact i, I need to i'll post it in the comments and um yeah you don't have to inbox it i'll post it in the comments 100 dollars to my course it's about and i just recorded two and a half hours of new content today and i uploaded another 22 hours of content 
two days ago. So I've added like literally three more hours of content on how to skill up and level up your life and be the best real estate investor you can be, especially in, in the wholesaling space, right? So, or even maybe you're interested in mobile home parks, right? Tony says, great opportunity everywhere. Absolutely, Tony. Like that's how you have to look at it, right? You, know, you, gotta, you gotta look at it that way. J Amin said, Chris's course made me over 25,000 part-time. Dude, I appreciate it. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations on that, dude. And I know that this guy right here, I mean, he, he, you deserve a you know a hand of applause because I know how hard you worked. I know you struggled for a little while and you finally started doing deals. It's like your mindset opened up and you really started crushing it. So congratulations on that. So, hey, appreciate that, Chris. But, um, but yeah, and if you want group coaching or one-on-one, -on -one, I'm giving discounts on that too, but you're gonna have to go to chrisroot.com and book a call, which I'll put right here chrisroot.com book a call or if you don't have no money you totally broke go watch my youtube go watch my youtube subscribe to my youtube channel chris rude follow me on instagram at real estate rude and i'll give you my free book too look let me let me give you my free book you guys can you can get my free book right here the source of the deal it shows you how to become the source of the deal why don't you give them your other uh books that you really felt changed oh, your yeah. mindset. Uh, yeah, let me give you guys some books. I'm gonna write them right here. There's there's six well, books. Well, you say them, I'll write them. You write them, Big Mama. There's six books that I recommend all my students recommend. Like these books are freaking game changers, right? And the first book is gonna be the science of getting rich, right? The science of getting rich is the first one that you should pick up. Phenomenal book on mindset and you know visualization and thinking you know about what you want Phenom and it's a short book the second book is thinking grow rich by napoleon hill right um the third book is psycho cybernetics hmm. it's not that hard <laughs> psycho come on Mom. she's from south louisiana <laughs> grand ants in particular which is like a, pro <laughs> a province of of sicilia which you probably don't know if you follow me but it's backwoods. I got when I used to go to her house and date her. I used to take. I had to take a, a freaking boat to get to her house and wear white rubber boots just to get there. It's not that bad. And I had to wear overalls. That's where the pretty girls are. And I had to keep a gun on me to shoot off the the freaking <laughs> the freaking alligators just to get to her house. Okay, how do I spell that? Psycho cybernetics. Um, <laughs> Google it. Google it. That's what I have. Google. Um, but psycho cybernetics max malts. Maltz, Max Maltz, Maltz Max. I've read it a couple times. It's been a while, but I, I try to re read those books at least once every other year, once a year. I need to re go read them. But those are the three books on mindset. Next book, next two books I recommend on habits, routines, and getting shit done is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, The Slight Edge, which is another phenomenal book. Um, and then Action, what's the best book on action? Grant Cardone's 10X Rule is phenomenal on that. And then Another awesome book I love by Grant is freaking uh, the Be Obsessed or Be Average. I love that book. Yeah, I've that read book, it three times. You know, it, it helps you release the the freak inside you if you're already if you're already a freak, right? Like like me. But um, some other good books. I do like Elena's book are, on building an empire. Yeah. it's really good on for couples. Yep, yep. And then um, the other books I recommend on negotiations is Chris Voss's um, Never Split the Difference. That's a really good book. On negotiations and then the last book I recommend and I'm giving you like eight or nine books right now the last book is um, traction and tra well, I'm gonna give you nine books traction which helps you like set up a business have and systematize and, and make have a process Ooh, and a sales book you've and, been reading that you love that oh I gave yeah to you. I, yeah that sales book is great too I'm gonna give you that one too the the e-myth is a great book on systematizing your business and then the phenomenal book on sales is the um, How I Changed My Life from Failure to Success. Go get it. I think it's, it's on there. Go get it, Pat. I think that's what it's called. How I, How I Changed My Life. How I Changed My Life from Failure to Success through Selling. How I Changed My Life from Failure to Success through Selling. Phenomenal book on the basics of selling, right? But uh, anyway, that's some great, like if you got all kind of time, you don't have any job, like I would be skilling up, right? Like, and if you don't, maybe you have money saved up and you're just like, hell, I'm just gonna chill out for the next month. Dude, I would be 
deep dive in personal development, watching, you know, watching good podcasts, listening to books, and uh, just stay skilling up, right? I know I am. That, that's, I mean, I haven't stopped consuming content. Like I, li- like, I just take in content all day long, all day, even before all this happened. I'm constantly listening to people that know stuff that I don't know, right? I want to steal all their knowingness. If I can steal people's knowingness, like I'm going to get better and better and better over time. So, right, mama? What are you scaling up on? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I have been scaling up at home, actually. Yeah. With my witch doctor. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I've been seeing a lady about just how you handle life and, and the good and the bad and the ugly and how you handle people and how you handle fear. And I was and wasn't that so great to do all of that before all of this situation? Because I think I've handled it so much better than I would have before. But, uh, yeah, because you're that's telling the truth. You're a germaphobe. I oh, am. She's, I'm she's a, a freak. She's a, um, what you call that? A, um, like. What's, this, what's, what's that what's word? A germaphobe. Yeah, but no, but like, there's a word for that. that hypochondriac. That hypochondri- like, she yes. really is a hypochondriac. Like, like really. And like, if if I let it consume me, it just consumes so, me. Yeah, it, so I've been pa- working. Yeah, yeah on myself. dude, in the past you don't. Yeah, you'd have freaked out. When yeah, I so I've been really working on myself about fear and you know, because I mean they want to create fear in you, you know. And so I notice when I start overthinking it and obsessing over that, I'll go take a bike ride. I'll go um, take a run. I'll go take a walk. I'll go outside. I'll fold some clothes. Like. I say busy. Pat, you, Pat, Tangie said, Pat, you need to do some live cooking classes. Mm. That would be a good, that would be, you could charge for that. Because I've been getting in fat Crawfish because fit. I love to cook. And so I've been cooking every night because I, I just love to cook. Oh, that's a good idea, Tangie. I have to do that. That's a great idea. That's being super resourceful, Tangie. Tangie, how are you making it in this? Uh, this I talk? know because you're such a social butterfly. Like, Oh my gosh! So how are you handling yeah, what do, not what do, being around people? What are you doing, Tangia? You're probably hunting them hogs. I know you like to hunt those hogs, <laughs> the AK-47s and AR-15s. I bet you she's got a prep room. She I'm sure. Play. She's but got a prep room. Anyway, yeah. guys. Well, I think we're gonna call it a night. We uh, we're pretty um, you know we're pretty bored. You know we wanted to come on and give content like we do every Sunday. But I hope you're doing good on a serious note. If you aren't doing good. You know, don't come and inbox me like for money and all that. Like if, because there's a lot of scams out there. You may tag somebody and just say, hey, I got, I got some money from Chris. If you got a family member that needs food, like I, I'm going to give them a gift card or I'll, I'll get them, I'll get some food delivered to their house. But we want to help and give back and we want to help some family that maybe is struggling. But um, I don't suggest you going out there and just start giving money to people that you don't know because you, you don't know what they're going to do that. Like actually buy them food, especially if they got a family with kids. Help them out, buy them some food, buy them some groceries, some water, drinks, whatever. And um, that's going to be the best way you can help people right now and, and just try to give back, especially if you're in a good spot because a lot of people are not in a good spot. If you have a job, if you kept your job and you're in like a, a business that, that can't be disrupted because of the fact that you're an essential service and you're doing well and you haven't missed a beat, dude, help people that are not doing well. And if you have a family that you want me to help, tag me. I would love to help somebody. So fishing Saturday. Yes. Just shot a 200 pound hog last weekend. Tangy, you need a, a beast. listen, you, I'm going to hold you at, you told me you're going to take me hog hunting. You, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to going at hog hunting trip. You got because Lord, you, you got some good spots right at 200. That's going to be some good eating there. So, um, what's up junior? Anyway, guys, hope that helps. Hope you uh, have a good night, and I'll see you next Sunday on the next live, or if I do win next week. But um, get the free book. Get my course for 100 bucks. I'll post a link. If you want group coaching, everything's on sale right now. I'm, I'm doing a COVID-19. Is it 19 or 9? 19. 19 sale on everything to help you guys out. So hope you- stay off the news. Yeah, don't watch the don't news. Obsess don't obsess. Yeah, don't, don't watch the news. It, 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 Says the, says the woman that's staying on the news. I'm not, no, I told myself, I'm not yeah. watching this shit anymore. Yeah. It makes when? me stress out. Today? No, yesterday. Okay, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I've been telling her to stop watching that bullshit for how many weeks? A week and a half now since it started. It's all, yeah, I'm not saying it's all BS, but a lot of it, dude, a lot of it's fear mongering, guys. 
a lot of it don't is no point it doesn't serve you to watch it because all it does is it, it dries up your, your it your drives up your fear and anxiety what does that do it it serves you in no way it creates stress and stress in the body creates sickness yep help my grandma don't wish stress. i could but hard because i have kids to take care of inbox me benjamin just name the date patty you can come to there you go I don't Patty, want to kill anything. Oh, else. Patty, yeah. Patty wouldn't kill a... I'll yeah. drive the four-wheeler, but I don't Cat, Patty that. wouldn't kill a mosquito. So, anyway, Tangie, yeah, hit me up. I'd, that'd be awesome. So, maybe when all this passes over, we'll go. But I got plenty enough AR-15s for all of us. So, all right, guys. Hope you have a good night. And uh, skill up be at nice chrisrude.com. And don't beat your wife like me. <laughs> Peace.